Morning guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. Today I am a little better, but I can't... I still can't live a normal life. I cannot put a bra on, so that kind of restricts where I go and what, what I shame. do today. Such a shame. Um, yeah, so I am dressed, just like not properly. <laughs> hey, so what are you going to do today? I'm too tall for the shot. Yeah, I know. The shot better. There you go. There you go. What are you going to do today? Same thing I did yesterday. Which was? Try to take over the world. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm trying to think of things that I can do today that A, don't involve lying in bed being completely bored out of my mind, and B, don't involve going anywhere because I need to probably wash my hair. Yeah, so I thought I might make those Christmas cookies, but again, I still haven't gone out and picked up the ginger. So if I can convince Jonathan to pick up ginger for me, then maybe I can make the cookies. Um, otherwise, I have no idea what I'm going to do today. Hopefully it's not another super boring vlog for you. I know yesterday's was just awful. I'm really glad that I'm not sunburned on my face, actually. Like, I have a little bit down my nose, but, like, the rest of my face is absolutely fine. Anyway, maybe if I tie my hair up, it'll look a bit better. Let's try that. It's a little better. It's still pretty shitty, though. Oh, well. I'm gonna have breakfast. Well, I've made my own breakfast today and I've also put a wash on, so if that's not an improvement from yesterday, I don't know what is. So my plan is, once I've had my breakfast, I'm going to apply the aloe gel again. Even though it's super painful, I think it probably helps, so once that's on and once it stops stinging, I'm going to try and get dressed properly. Basically, put a bra on. <laughs> um, I'm going to wear a sports bra today because I think it'll be a little less uncomfortable and that way hopefully I will be presentable and people won't have to feel really awkward when they see me. Even a sports bra was way too painful so I've gone for a bikini that ties at the back so that um, I've just tied it really really loosely but at least I'm like wearing clothes now so yay! <laughs> I feel like today is definitely going better than yesterday never mind the fact that it's like half past 11 already. My washing is just finished so need to hang that out. Gosh this is a terribly exciting vlog for you today isn't it? Aren't you just like really glad that you're subscribed to my channel? I know I would be absolutely riveted watching this sunburn recovery process. So, since we don't have a Christmas tree, like we've got a little one in our room, but we don't have... What are you doing? It's in here. Nothing. <laughs> but we don't have like a big um, Christmas tree for the family. Where is it? Oh, here. So, uh, Jonathan picked up this plank of wood yesterday, which... Can you stand by it for size reference, please? Um, we're going to cut it into a triangle. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's exactly the same height as I am. Go on. Yeah, okay, so it's not massive, but that's going to be our Christmas tree. Um, so yeah, we're going to cut it into a triangle, and then Jackie is going to paint I'm it. I'm going to cut it into a triangle. You're going to cut it into a triangle. Anything. Jackie is going to paint I, I'm it. I'm going to focus it on myself. It yeah. is focused on you. Ah. Jackie's going to paint it. You tell them. No, you talk, and I will pretend I'm talking. We saw a thing, not on Pinterest, but on the internet somewhere, where you like hang, or you, you put nails down both sides, and then you attach string in like a zigzag thing from the nails, and then you can hang whatever you want. You can hang like ornaments, or cards, or whatever. So yeah, that's what we're doing for our Christmas tree this year. Let's go see if the Christmas advent's been done. So today's the 11th, right? And the 10th hasn't even been done. That's cool. And a number 11. Yay! I've managed to have a shower and wash my hair and I'm feeling so, so much better now. 
It's two o'clock in the afternoon, so I need to go grab some lunch, although I did have breakfast really late. I probably had breakfast at like 11. It's actually quite cold today, which is why I'm wearing a jumper and then also track pants. Jonathan says it's not that cold, so it might still be my burn, like, confusing me. Yeah, let's go grab lunch. Got my basic AF lunch, and I need to remember to keep drinking lots of water as well. What's all this? Tree. And we're time lapsing it. Um, Jackie can probably paint it to make these bits look like leaves or something. Yeah, we just have to, we just have to make it straighter than that. just finished my first very rough draft of the report that I'm writing for my um, university interview which is on Friday. I've just counted up the words. I'm already over the word limit and I haven't even included introductory sentences or anything. Like it's literally just basically bullet points what I want to say. Some of it's in full sentences, some of it's not. So it needs to get even longer. Like I probably need maybe another hundred words to really round out what I'm trying to say. It's only meant to be a very, very short report. They said 250 words, which is like nothing. And I've already written probably about 300 words. I stopped counting after 250 because I knew that I'd obviously written more than that, but I'm definitely over the word limit. And by the time I've like used proper sentences everywhere, I'm going to be way over. I don't really know what to do though. Like everything that I'm writing is important. I know they just want me to jot down ideas because all it is is basically um, a starting point for the interview. They're going to ask me questions about what I've written. So I know I don't need to go into too much detail because I can do that in my interview, but at the same time I need to give some explanation of what I've written. Like when it asks for the effective qualities of a teacher, I can't just write respect, flexibility and organize because that's three words. You know, so I have to turn them into sentences. And by the time I've turned them into sentences, it's too long. Ugh, so frustrating. <laughs> but I think I'm going to finish writing it up properly, like how I want to write it. Um, there's a few things I need to change still. And then once I've done that, I'll give it to Jonathan to have a look. He's quite good at cutting things down. It's all good. I have a plan and I've still got like four more days to get this done. Well, three. Hey guys, I haven't vlogged for quite a while. It's now nine o'clock in the evening. We had chicken wraps for dinner. Um, I think the last time I spoke to you, I had just finished planning my, um, my draft report for my university. So I finished that. I got Jonathan to have a look at it. Um, and he cut it down by 80 words, which is amazing. So it's now only 60 words over the word count, which I think is okay. So I typed it up, I submitted it, and now that's all done. If there's any problems, they've got three days to let me know anyway, so it's all good. There is time to, like, change it if I need to. The other thing that happened was when Jonathan's mum came home, she said that she doesn't actually want the Christmas tree in a Christmas tree shape. She wanted it to be just left as a board and then a tree painted onto it, so we just wasted, like, an hour cutting that stupid tree out and trying to sand it down. And tomorrow morning, Jonathan is going to go out and buy a new plank of wood. So that was a bloody waste of time and money and energy. I just wish she would have told us before we cut it up, but whatever. Normally I'd be like heading off to bed by now and I probably will soon, but I'm just not really tired yet. I think it's because I've done practically nothing for the last two days because I haven't been able to do anything, but it just means that the end of the day has come and I'm not tired yet. And I've had so much time to myself that I've actually caught up on all the videos that I wanted to watch, which is crazy. That like never happens. I always have like 30 or 40 videos in my watch later list that I'm so behind on. But literally in two days with nothing else to do, I've watched all of them. And now I'm like trying to search through YouTube, trying to find more things to watch. Anyway, the sunburn is definitely heaps better now than it was yesterday. So tomorrow... I'm going to stop being such a wimp, I'm going to get dressed properly, and I'm going to find something interesting to vlog for you guys, other than just sitting at home and complaining about how much it hurts. I might pop to the store and pick up some ginger so I can make the Christmas cookies. 
or I might go Christmas shopping with Jonathan. Actually, I want to film tomorrow, so hopefully I'm feeling well enough to film. But anyway, this is going to be the end of today's vlog. I'm sorry if it was really boring again. I just really can't do anything interesting for you guys until I'm feeling a bit better. But tomorrow's a new day. I'm sure I'll be feeling even better tomorrow than I am today. So I'll see you then. Bye.